Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe and hit your notification bell so that you can get um, notifications every time I post a video. So, um, when I, I actually was making some press-ons for a client and for some reason I lost the first footage of this set. So, um, she sent me some inspiration pictures and what I'm doing is I'm creating them in, a, in a, an acrylic form without actually using like monomer. So what I'll do is I'll put a thin layer of the polish and then I would, um, while the polish is wet, I would cover it with clear acrylic and let it build up with each layer of polish that I apply. So she wanted kind of a, a gold, I mean an orange and kind of olive green color with gold accent and gems. So once I do those couple of layers, which you'll see further down in the video, um, after I'm done, I will go ahead and buff the surface and just make sure that it's nice and smooth as if I was doing an actual acrylic application. I needed to change the the little tacky the little blue pieces that's why it kept falling off so and I would go in behind myself and um, file it and buff it and make sure it's smooth make sure the edges are you know nice and crisp and then here I go with the top coat and I'll put a thin coat of that on and cure that under the lamp for 90 seconds. So for the next set of nails, um, I'm doing the kind of swirl technique where you'll swirl it together and then scoop up the polish and use blossoming gel to um, apply it to the nail. So I'm just taking a little bit of the colors that she wanted and um, a little bit of gold and then and a little bit of black. Cause I will be drawing some um, little leaves on them as well so I will go ahead and buff the surface of the nail tip and then I will go ahead and clean that off and go ahead with a thin layer of base coat Also, when I am doing press-ons, if I don't have the uh, client's sizes, I would make about a 14 to 16 piece set so that they can have um, various sizes so that they'll be able to find the right size. I did see this one technique on TikTok that I do want to try the next time I have a press-on order. And that's where the customer puts a penny near their hand take a picture and then when you um, get the picture you'll zoom you'll put another penny on top of that picture on your phone and then zoom out to where the the photo is the size where that penny would fit on that picture and then you'll just place the nail tips on top of that picture I think in a future video I'll show you guys what I'm talking about I don't think I explained it well <laughs> So I am using this um, sheer pink 
polish as the base for this um, design. And then here you see me putting that thin coat of that polish down. And then I will go over it with the clear acrylic. And I'll shake off the excess and then cure it under the lamp for a full minute and then dust off any um, clear acrylic that did not adhere to the nail bed. So then I'll go in with this, that second layer and just keep the same process in between each thin layer of polish that I am applying. And then that, that actually builds the press on nail up to where it looks like actual acrylic application. Now there may be times where I will be using the actual um, acrylic, you know, application method. But I did see this online somewhere, so I wanted to try it out and see, you know, what I thought about it. And I think it turned out pretty good. Um, she was very satisfied with the nails and how they turned out. So I was very proud of, you know, that because this was my first time actually using that technique. So I went ahead with a thin layer of Blossom Gel. And then I'm just scooping up, using a flat um, art brush and scooping up the colors from my palette. So with these, um, I don't think I used the acrylic after I did the, um, the different colors there. I just did it the art first and then I'll go over with that uh, I think I used a top coat or a base coat and did the acrylic so I wasn't sure how it would have taken um, from the artwork that was done you know the, the blending of the colors so I just went ahead and just did the base coat um, method and not the polish and then I'll repeat this for all the rest of the nails you know this method and then I'll go back on some of them because I do add some gems to a few of them so I'm gonna let this go ahead and play out
And I do apologize again for being off frame. I was really, really concentrating on these nails and not realizing too much that I was out of frame. So I do apologize for that. Sometimes I get in the zone, y'all. Not even gonna lie. I get right in the zone when I'm doing, especially if I'm doing an order. So now I'm going in and securing all the gems just so that they can um, have a, a nice long lasting um, so that it can adhere to the nails for a long time. So for these nails, I went ahead with a thin a layer of the um, sheer pink and this olive green color. And then I am covering them uh, with the clear acrylic. And curing that under the lamp. And then just, just dusting off the excess. And I'll keep, um, doing this it'll take like maybe maybe two or three layers depending on the aesthetic you're going for or the thickness you're going for so it's just up to you Don't forget to hit the subscribe and your notification bell. Thank you.
so with this nail I'm doing kind of the kind of a plaid look but not like the full nail but just like parts of the nail is going to be like that plaid look and then I'll put a little bit of gems on them as well
and to make sure that I'm getting full coverage when I do this acrylic method I will just verify if I see any shiny spots on the nail tip um, then I will make sure that I pour some more uh, acrylic over those areas because once it soaks into that polish um, it will give like a matte look to them so I will make sure that I don't see any shiny spots and then I would dust off the excess and then cure it under the lamp. Like I said before in the video, right here I am buffing the surface to make sure it's nice and smooth. And using, um, I think this is a 100-180 grit file to uh, clean up those edges and make sure that they are nice and crisp. So I'm using just a little uh, extra brush that I had to brush on the gold foils and then I would um, and I'll use that while the, the polish is tacky after I've cured it and then I would go over it with the, um, the top coat I believe I'm using here to uh, go over it and then pour over that clear um, acrylic. Y'all, I did not realize that I was playing my game on my uh, on my tablet while I was letting the nails cure. <laughs> that is so funny to see. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> so I'm just going ahead and applying some more gold foils to these sets of nails. I believe these are the. either ring or pinky it might be pinky because um, this client does have uh, wider nail beds kind of like I do but um, 
like I said, I do send different sizes just so that I can make sure we cover all the bases as far as what may fit her. So here is where I use um, a striper uh, polish. I believe this is from Kira Sky. And I just go in and draw in some little flowers to kind of contrast the nail a little bit. So that is kind of what the design of, of the inspo um, picture was. And I still wanted to like work on my hand drawing. I kind of liked what I did, but I felt like the flowers or the leaves could have been a little bit thinner, but they did still turn out very pretty. So um, here is the way that I am packaging the nails. Um, I do need to get some more boxes so I will put these set of nails um, two sets of nails in one box the next time I'll have more boxes so that I will can send them um, you know in separate boxes until I create my kind of cards to put the nail uh, the press on nails on I did find these Amazon it's like a press on nail kit so um, these really came in handy So I was able to uh, work it out where I was able to get all the nails put on to the card. And I really love, what I love about this box is the reflective look to them. So they get come out and present very pretty. So here are the nails. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments. And if you have any um, ideas on how I can uh, make my press-ons better or any ideas, I'd be happy to read them, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!